Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, but you'd really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to go. So today we are looking at a heat protectant spray, but before we do that, why would you use a heat protectant? So if you style your hair, you shampoo, you condition your hair, you use styling products, heat on it most days. Can you imagine if you had a t-shirt, you wore it 365 days a year, washed it, dried it, done all sorts of things with it, ironed it, ironed it, ironed it. Have a look at what that would look like after the 365 days of the year. Even thinking about it, it would be quite old, quite tatty, quite worn. But yet we expect our hair to look day after day after day, healthy, shiny, vibrant, and give us that best face looking forward. Heat protectant can really do just that in keeping all those sort of things, where it looks dull, whether it looks dry, whether it looks tatty. Perhaps you don't see a natural sheen in your hair. You should do. Healthy hair shines. Doesn't matter about shine sprays or anything. Healthy hair shines. So using a heat protectant is vitally important. I literally kid you not, if you wash and dry your hair, heat style your hair, and then do it with a heat spray, you will notice a difference tenfold. Let's have a look at the product which we're looking at today. This one's by Schwarzcroft, and this is the Keratin Heat Spray, and it's up to 230 uh, Celsius heat protection, and it's got two times more keratin, um, humidity resistant, frizz control, which of course with heat, particularly if you've got fine hair like me, you can see the ends here I've used a straightener today, uh, passed it through, flat line uh, through my hair. Um, I haven't used heat in my hair for quite a while. I haven't been, I haven't actually been very well, unfortunately, with vertigo. Um, I'm through that now. Um, I hope it's still there a little bit, but I hope I'm, I'm getting there. Um, so I thought let's review this product today. So first time I've used heat on my hair for quite a while. Um, my hair is fine, so it tends to go a little bit frizzy. So this tells us that it works against frizz as well. I'm going to show you and tell you my experience with it shortly in a while. So it says three days style control. It's 200 mils. And then we've got a little bit more information here on the back, which I'm just going to inform you of. So it's professional performance. So at Schwarzcroft, we believe that everybody deserves salon beautiful hair every day. The salon inspires Schwarzcroft with hair identical liquid keratin complements uh, developed and tested by hairdressers, forms a strengthening shield around the hair, delivers long lasting hold and provides the perfect balance between hold and natural movement. The long lasting salon styles at home, keratin heat spray, so three days style control, up to 230 Celsius heat protection with blow drying, curling or straightening, for, fast, uh, for long lasting, sorry, straight curling or wavy styles, Flawless anti-frizz results due to heat activated formula. And then we've got a little bit of information on the back here. I just want to go through a view of how to use it and how they recommend to use it. So the Schwarzkopf stylist recommends important advice. Do not use heat appliances on damp hair. It can damage your hair. It's flammable, it says here. <laughs> just like most hair sprays, of course. Um, do not spray into eyes on damp hair. Spray evenly over damp hair. Blow dry before st uh, straightening the hair on dry hair, which I don't actually do, and I'm going to go through in just a moment why. Divide hair into even sections and spray directly prior to straightening. Spray from a distance of 25 centimeters. Using heat appliances on wet hair can cause hair damage. For optimum results, use the Schwarzkopf Keratin Hairspray, which I haven't got, but that may well be something which I use in the future. So, I mentioned here that I don't use this on dry hair. As a rule, I always say that with damp products, you should use damp products when your hair is damp. You should use dry products when your hair is dry. And I find because if you spray wet products such as a heat spray into dry hair, number one, you use much more product. Number two, I find that the hair tends to take on almost like this sticky residue in the hair. And number three, I just find that it ends up a little bit cakey, a bit more heavier. Whereas if you use white product, uh, white, if you use wet products in with wet hair, I find you get much more of an air lift, you get much more of a professional finish, and ultimately it just lasts and feels so much more nicer and much more natural in the hair. I haven't tried this on a three day process because I find with my hair where it's quite fine, if I don't wash my hair every day, it is just not nice. It's just not nice at all. So I look after my hair on a basis, on a daily basis. So I use oils in my hair, I use sort of a leave-in spray just to keep my hair ultimately conditioned and looked after just because I've got the highlighted bits. We are in the middle of a pandemic so my hair has grown out considerably but I kind of like that look because my hair is quite fine and sort of thin in areas. Um, 
I find that the darker root makes it look thicker, but the highlighted pieces still do need a lot of care. That's why if you've got highlighted hair particularly, or coloured hair, a heat spray, absolutely a must, because it just ultimately looks after that shine, the colour components in the hair as well, the colour modules in the hair, all of it just needs that little bit more protection, so a heat spray is absolutely must. And I always think with a heat spray, what it's actually kind of like doing, if you imagine the cuticle of the hair, you're sort of eloping that hair around this sort of thin layer of protection. So when you're putting heat up, and you're putting heat up on your hair, what you're doing is you're protecting the inner core of your hair, and you're protecting the surface. So then what that means is that you're going to have healthier, longer lasting sort of hair without needing to go and have it trimmed at the hairdressers for longer. And that's just fine. It just gives you a bit more of a polished look as well after using heat, uh, heat spray. So how have I dried my, uh, how have I styled my hair off today? So shampoo conditioned my hair off. First time, as I say, I've used heat on my hair for a long time as I haven't been too well for a while. Um, I have blow dried my hair through very, very roughly with my hands. And then what I've done, I've flipped my head over and just given it that cool shot of, uh, from the hairdryer. So it just gives a bit more lift, that sort of natural sort of resistance so it doesn't fall so flat because my hair is quite fine and then I flipped my hair off on one side passed a straightener through it and then taking a bit of a fringe off onto an angle taking a little bit of pomade and then I moved uh, my fingers through just with some pieces of my hair and then off to the side and then a spray of uh, hairspray just to hold it in place. After the shampoo and conditioner I use this heat protectant spray and I just find this works amazing with straightening hair because what it kind of does it gives you that really nice ultimate shine. I don't know if you can see that but the shine on my hair isn't actually through the hairspray it's through this heat spray so it gives an ultimate shine. Um, it said about having a hold here I didn't find there was any hold in it um, I just found that it made the hair really quite nice and uniform so it contracted any frizz straight away um, and it just made it look really super cool really awesome I mean this is men's hair we're talking about so you want something to be quite quick fast acting you don't want to be messing around with loads of all different products um, so this for men's hair short hair long hair perfect for women's hair absolutely amazing as well so we ultimately absolutely recommend this one certainly cost wise I don't I think this is on offer at the moment I bought this one in Superdrug online um, a couple of weeks ago I haven't had a chance to use it because I haven't been as I say particularly too well um, I think I paid around the £3.50 mark for this so certainly absolute budget price product and offers and delivers a real high quality sheen high quality sort of protection heat protection in the hair as well so this as a heat spray is an absolute must I just want to take a moment of just talking about keratin. So our hair is made up of proteins, keratin our hair is made up of. So it's really important that if you have got fine hair, if you've got thinning hair, to really have a, a real protein rich diet. Or if you are vegan or, or vegetarian, to have a supplement, just which of course, which is great for you, but ultimately that you are keeping your hair in top tip condition and your hair is getting all of those vitamins and minerals. And it's just because of course, hair is a non-essential part of the body. So the, the body recognizes is that hair is a non-essential material so therefore it's the last place in the body where it pumps any vitamins minerals that type of thing so if you are noticing change in your hair it's really important that you do speak to a medical professional first of all rather than just diagnosing yourself um, and of course looking after the hair on the outside such as using good quality sort of stimulating shampoos conditioners looking after your hair with a heat protectant spray as well as well as having a good balanced diet and supplementing your diet as well if you don't think that you haven't got the most sort of healthiest diet in the world or perhaps you're not eating enough that's my problem sometimes when I get stressed I don't eat enough or perhaps you find that your life is just too busy too cram packed to have all of these five and isn't it now in this in life that it's more than five a day so trying to get all that in might well be a lot more difficult for you all these fruits and vegetables and things so really break down have a look at your diet have a look at what you're doing to your hair make some changes, make a small one such as using a heat protectant and that will really really transform your hair. Keratin is the basis of our hair so it's our hair and our nails so for example if you are finding that your hair is getting a little bit jagged, a bit dry throughout or you've got some breakage what you really need to start doing is looking at number one your diet, what you're consuming and how you're treating your hair Keratin, adding keratin to the hair, I don't believe that the hair actually takes it on board into the real core level, but what it does do is it looks after the outside of the hair and it just mimics what we would have in natural healthy hair. So it really does just boost the health of hair, boost the shine and just boost that vitality, keeping your hair healthier and longer lasting for a lot 
longer. Of course, what's really, really good on the back of this as well is that you are supplementing your hair with the keratin and you're getting those really nice healthy ingredients on the hair. Personally, I don't think that makes its way down to the actual core of the hair. I think that is how the hair grows. So ultimately, looking after your hair is the first, first cause of keeping damage at bay. But of course, using a heat protection spray is absolutely a body to a vital part for healthy, shiny, sort of sleek hair as well. Um, really, really hope you've enjoyed this clip. Um, have I covered everything I wanted to? I think so. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Um, and I will do my best at getting back to you. I think that's everything. I think we've covered it. Okay, so until next time, thanks very much for watching, and we will be with you shortly with another clip. As I say, thanks very much. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.